Hey all, so today I wanted to give my thoughts on people who break NDAs and leak information. As you may know, there was a Reddit leak for Final Fantasy XIV's Endwalker that showed a bunch of job action tooltips before that information was supposed to be released publicly. Once information is out on the internet, it's like squeezing toothpaste out. There is no going back in the tube. So, I am not going to beat around the bush. People who leak are scum. These are people who were lucky enough to be invited to private events, given the opportunity to see and or play games early, and sometimes are even able to give direct feedback to the developers. To be given such an opportunity to just turn around and leak? What a slap in the face. People who break NDA are the sludge that grows at the bottom of a barrel. What makes this really crappy is it makes PR and publishers less likely to invite people to these kinds of events. Then you factor in that it hurts discussion. When there is a leak, looking up that game becomes risky. I, for one, love analyzing trailers and release gameplay footage and coming up with theories of what I think is going to happen. It's really fun going to forums or comments and theorizing on plot direction. What will happen to characters? What will the new dungeons be like? If there's a leak out there, then you can no longer engage like that. You have no idea if some asshat is going to go out of their way to spoil you. The leaker may not be going out of their way to spoil, but some people are really scummy and love ruining other people's experiences. I've been spoiled in the past, and I wasn't even looking. I was taking the train to school and reading my Google News Feed when an article title literally spoiled a huge plot point for a game I was looking forward to. I knew there was a leaked copy in the wild, but I thought if I wasn't looking up the game directly that I'd be pretty safe. But apparently, the author of that article was some asshat that titled it with a major spoiler, and it somehow made it to my Google News Feed. Not gonna lie, that was really annoying. If leakers are scum at the bottom of a barrel, people who go out of their way to spoil are the scum under the lip of your toilet seat. Crappy people that piss me off. Now obviously the Endwalker leak was not a huge deal. I'd say in terms of spoilers, it would rank as a 1 on the spoiler scale. Barely even a blip. You would see every job action within 5 minutes of starting Endwalker anyways. Regardless of the severity of the leak, the person behind it still broke the trust put in them. When it comes to talking about leaked information, like I said, there is no putting that toothpaste back in the tube. However, I think waiting to see what PR is going to do is generally a good idea. If they are taking down every single thing pertaining to the leak, maybe don't talk about it. Why poke the bear? Also, don't be like that asshat that ruined a game for me. Keep spoilers out of the title and thumbnails for the love of God. <laughs> like, when I talked about the Sage job actions, I waited a few days after hearing about it. I saw that Square Enix was not taking action. The thread, with all the leaked actions, was still up, and other players were talking about it as well. Well, anyways, that's what I think of leaks. In a perfect world, they wouldn't happen. People wouldn't break their NDAs, and no one would spoil things. We don't live in that world. Anyways, thanks for listening to my ramblings on this topic. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.